Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today you find me out in Worthing and in this video I'm going to ask the question is it good to come to Worthing for Christmas? So Worthing West Sussex is located on the south coast and for as long as I can remember it's been one of those places that you will often go to to do Christmas shopping. However with the advent of Covid and people buying a lot more online is it still worth making the trek to Worthing to experience uh, the Christmas feel that you would expect with Christmas shopping so uh, let's just have a look around and also we're going to see how um, Covid has had an impact on the way that the town um, is now made up. So one of the big changes that we've seen is the advent of these small pop-up catering services. Um, originally with coronavirus people weren't allowed to go to the shops to uh, shop or fooderies and uh, but people were walking along this promenade and this channel featured that um, on there and so these makeshift eateries sprung up all the way along the coast um, also another big win is just behind it there outside the car park um, there was a flat area that was just left doing nothing they've turned that into a uh, eatery for all different types of restaurants so been a big pull for Worthing and a big success so one of the big changes has been the addition of this uh, pedestrian area it used to be a area where people could park and also to drop off and collect people there was a small roundabout um, at the end there but this has been replaced by these uh, structures um, again change of focus of Worthing so moving more towards um, a retail outlet and more to eateries um, as you can see just having a look at the selection of shops here we've got a kitchen bar we've got a cafe uh, we've got a subway another cafe Costa um, so plenty of options if you want somewhere to eat one of the relics from the past is this old boat just reminding you that this used to be a fishing village so one of the additions that we get every year in Worthing is the ice rink and what they do is they put down a temporary structure in Steen Gardens and it's one of these uh, things that you can book it's quite a small ice rink um, plenty of food and drinks and catering again involved um, in being there but it's now become um, a big success for Worthing having the ice rink and probably will draw people into the area so in this section they can see some empty shops, plenty of fooderies around but uh, the retail part seems to be slowly disappearing. This is the Warwick Street area, small independent shops uh, in this area, a bit like the lanes in Brighton but not quite as uh, diverse. Here we move into a shopping mall in Worthing, the old Gilbourne Centre, um, it's in better days. Chapel Road here and a spate of uh, closed shops. Um, one thing distinctly missing from Worthing this year is uh, you tended to find in these small towns that a Christmas shop would pop up in these vacant premises and I uh, haven't seen any Christmas shops uh, this year. Um, some of the 
shops that are vacant have been uh, replaced with toddler role play uh, shops. Strange uh, move moving forward. So here we have uh, this area lit up at night. You can see the Christmas decorations. They've reused the main tree and it's a great photo opportunity. Having the pass through in the center of the tree uh, means it makes for great photographs. This was new for Worthing last year and um, yeah, it's a great addition and it's great to have some uh, photo opportunities like this being that today we're all focused on uh, taking pictures and videos with our phones. Looking to the east into Warwick Street, uh, this area doesn't look like it's had any of its Christmas decks popped up yet. And another photo opportunity near to the Christmas tree. Um, again, one of last year's decorations reused. Um, in this area, there's a couple of department stores, which um, in my uh, experience has always been a great place to go and do your Christmas shopping. But these have uh, closed recently due to um, the change in customers' buying habits. Um, this building is the old Debenhams building and opposite is Bentles, uh, later to be known as Beals. Both of these shops were department stores that started out in the um, 1950s in London and moved down and uh, were very successful in the town up until recently when everybody started to shop online. Looking to the west into Montague Street and this area is the Royal Parade. Um, no Christmas decorations in here but it's an extremely well kept part of Worthing and um, a historic part of Worthing, Worthing having this old style arcade. As we get back into Montague Street you can see that the big brand names and shops have left the high street in Worthing not to be replaced. Um, you'd like to think that the council would be um, doing things to incentivize some of these shops to come back to Worthing um, however on this uh, visit to Worthing um, it cost me £3.90 to park the car um, and uh, yes, yeah, definitely going to be a deterrent for people who can shop online at Amazon and get it delivered to their door for free or a similar sort of price. This is a new area for Worthing, Portland Square. Uh, it's just a recent redevelopment uh, seating area and in this area there's a lot of uh, uh, restaurants and food shops. Um, so. Some more store closures in the west end of Worthing. Again, big names have left um, and the buildings remain empty. Uh, it's a real shame to see it in this, but uh, it's not just Worthing. I think the high street in general is suffering. So this little building here used to be a locksmith and key cutters or shoe repairers, long, long since gone. So I'll leave it up to you to come to a conclusion. Do you think it will be a great experience visiting Worthing for Christmas? Um, if you could like and subscribe or comment down below your opinions. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.